So the first step in this question is look at the electrolyte we've got, which is copper chloride, but it's aqueous. So my copper uh, chloride will contain copper ions and the chloride ions. The fact it's aqueous means it's dissolved in water. So I'll also get H plus and I will get OH minus. So at the cathode, what I need to do here is look at these two cations. And I know the rule at the cathode is that the least reactive is going to undergo reduction first, which in this case is the copper. So we have got copper ions arriving. They're going to pick up two electrons and form copper atoms. That is gaining. Um, so it is reduction. And the product, as you can see from the equation, we are producing copper. At the anode, we have a different rule at the anode. So here's my two anions. And the rule at the anode is that the simplest will react first. So this has got one part, this has got two parts. So my chloride ion is going to react first. So my chloride ion becomes um, chlorine atom, releasing an electron. But we've got to remember that chlorine is diatomic. So therefore I need two of those and I'll have two electrons. Um, that is oxidation and the product of that reaction is chlorine.